when he did hear anything that was gay, it was always in a negative connotation. And this was reinforced by the, my church at the time, about how evil and using classic quotes from the Bible. So obviously enough to scare you into not feeling how you feel, but the problem was these feelings just wouldn't go away. I, I remember as a kid, um, crying at night, praying to God, please suppress these feelings, please take these feelings away from me. And I sort of did my best to suppress them, but as I got older, I knew it, was, it wasn't happening. And even at, at that time, it was these are days of sex, the latter years of Section 28. So again, couldn't, school, couldn't talk to school teachers about it, it too tough. And even if I, when I had the political courage to do, again, teachers were a bit sheepish about it, didn't want to talk about it too tough. Again, school nurse, no good. Again, no literature, no pamphlets. Websites, no, there wasn't any the websites we have now about gay health or sexuality, nothing. So um, pretty much you're on your own, really. And I think what made things a lot harder was um, the, there was very, at the time, so I'm, to, I'm talking about my early teens, there's very few black, gay or bisexual or lesbian role models. 